the channel Deep Course and today in this video we will discuss Git code bi-weekly contest scientific question minimize the maximum of two arrays. Uh, so here we are uh, we have to build two uh, arrays array one and array two which are initially empty. We need to add integers uh, that satisfy these two conditions. So in array one, let's say we need to add this many number of integers that are unique count one means this this many count of integers we have to add here. And in array 2, we need to add these integers. And further, the integers that are present in array 1 uh, must not be divisible by divisor 1. And all the other integers that are present in array 2 should not be divisible by divisor 2. Uh, and further, we need to return uh, the maximum uh, number of both these arrays. So what uh, uh, we need to return is minimum of possible maximum integer. That is, we would fill this in uh, both the arrays with minimum numbers. Let's say starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, uh, 3, 5, 7, 8 and uh, uh, we would fill with the minimum possible values and at the end we would return the maximum uh, number or the maximum integer from both of these arrays. Uh, so uh, here we are given two divisor and unique count 1 and 3. So let us uh, try to solve this uh, here. So here the divisor are 2 and 7. So let me just write here is let's say your divisor d1 is 2 d2 is 7 count of 1 that we need here is uh, 1 and count, unique count of 1 is 1 here and count of 2 is let's say 3 here so one possibly we is let's say this is array 1 and this is array 2 so uh, uh, this uh, all the uh, elements present in the array 1 must not be divisible by 2 so let me take it uh, 1 here, 1 is not divisible by 2, okay, so count of 1 is complete, for the array 2 I can take 2, 3, 4, uh, and the maximum here, uh, maximum of number from both these arrays is 4, so we will simply return 4. One other, another possible case, let's say I do 1, I, uh, 2, I include these 3 numbers, 1, 2, 3 here, and let's say uh, 5 here, because I can't, I can't include 4 here, so I included 5. So the answer here is 5 here, but this is not the optimal. This is the optimal answer because we need to return uh, such number that is minimum possible uh, value. Uh, let us, uh, for the same example, let us change if instead of 3 here, instead of we have 1, we have 3 and here 7. Let's say then what is the possible solution in that case would be. Let me try to add 1, 3 and 5 here for the area 1 that are not divisible by 2 and for here I would add 2, 4, 6, not 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so this is one possible answer and here we would return 11. For the another possible way would be that uh, may write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. So I take this many integers here uh, and uh, let me take 9. Uh, I can't take 10, so I take 11 and 13. So here the answer is uh, 13. But uh, this is not the optimal, this is the optimal here. So, so this way, uh, so this is the concept that uh, all the numbers present in this array must not be divisible by divisor 1 and numbers in this array must not be divisible by divisor 2 and the total number of, uh, total count of numbers should be C1 and C2 respectively. So I hope you got uh, the question and what we have to do here. Uh, and now, uh, one though you might be thinking that how we could solve this question. Like, we were, if we take one array, we try to build it by adding, let's say, numbers. If it is not divisible, uh, then we make another array. We add some other numbers here, uh, and with count C one and count C two, then this would uh, take a lot of time. Because uh, here, what the situation is, there are multiple case cases, multiple ways we can add numbers to this address. And we need to find the optimal one. So if you try to select one number, let's say one, and try to place here or here, then it would take so much of time. So we won't do that. So instead of this, uh, one thing to note here is we can add any number from one, two, three, up to uh, the maximum number, int a max. Uh, so uh, whenever uh, our input is something like this, so here it, uh, you can think this as, as an input. 
because we are just giving this as an input our address to build this two address so whenever we are our input is sorted what we can think of binary search yeah you got it right we will apply binary search on answer concept here on answer okay uh, so that thing we would do so now how are you going to be thinking that how, how binary search is possible here so what we would do is uh, we have to build this to add array 1 array 2 so uh, and we need to return the maximum uh, element from both the array so uh, what uh, we are going to we are going to do is take one lower limit as we do in binary search let us take it as one uh, upper limit let us take it as 10 is to 9 and we would select one variable mid okay now if uh, all the numbers from one up to the mid will satisfy this condition like uh, means with this range of numbers we can build array 1 and array 2 then we would decrease the mid we would check for mid minus 1 from 1 to mid minus 1 that means by taking other elements from 1 to mid minus 1 if it is possible to build array 1 and array 2 if yes then we would again increase the mid by 1 and we would check from 1 so this is our concept that we would apply here that we would be selecting some middle element x and we would check if it is possible to build these two arrays array 1 and array 2 with the help of element from 1 to x if it is possible then we would decrease the x if it is not possible then we would increase the x okay and uh, we would take our answer variable as minimum possible uh, minimum value of mid mid or x what, whatever you say so this would be our answer okay uh, so now uh, you might be thinking uh, so here uh, left, uh, we uh, we have, we will write uh, inside this binary search while left uh, as the right so here inside this binary search we would make one function satisfy so this function we would pass one uh, this divisor divisor one divisor two count one needed count two needed and this mid so if it is possible uh, to build this two array satisfying this condition uh, by taking all the numbers by taking some of the numbers from one to mid then what we would simply do is i equal to mid minus one uh, if not possible then in the else condition what we would do low equal to mid plus one okay uh, so i hope you got the concept of how, how we would uh, do binary search here now one another thing to note here is how we would write satisfy function okay the satisfy function will uh, return uh, true value uh, sorry uh, true value if it is possible to build array 1 and array 2 satisfying the condition of d1 and c1 and for this divisor 2 and uh, count of 2 by taking numbers from 1 to mid so if it is possible to build these two arrays then we would return true false else we would return false okay so inside this satisfy function we would first uh, uh, let me take uh, uh, this satisfy function here we have one input divisor one divisor two count one count two and mid okay so now for the first array let, let us take for the array a1 so for, for the first array we would check how many numbers are there that are uh, between 1 and mid and they are not divisible by d1 so let me take one integer variable divisible by d1 so all the num total numbers divisible by d1 are uh, would be uh, mid divided by d1 so these are the total number of uh, numbers or uh, total count of numbers between the range 1 to mid that are divisible by d1 and similarly divisible by d2 are uh, mid by d2 okay so I hope you got it now further our uh, numbers not uh, not divisible by d1 that are uh, mid minus this value mid minus divisible by d1 so these many numbers are not divisible by d1 similarly not uh, divisible by d2 would be mid minus this value okay so till now in the satisfy function we have found all, all the numbers that are not divisible by d1 and here the not divisible by d2 and these uh, many numbers we can include in uh, array 1 and these numbers we can include in array 2 uh, 
And so further, we further we need to find all the numbers that are uh, not divisible by both. Okay, and for that, uh, let me take one that variable. Let's say not divisible by both, and that would be uh, mid minus mid uh, divided by LCM of d1 comma d2. So uh, this mid my mid divided by LCM of d1 d2. Uh, this will give the count of numbers uh, divisible by both. Uh, so all the, the remaining numbers that is mid minus divisible by this, mid minus this, this would give us not divisible by both or all the numbers that are not divisible by both d1 and d2. And further we would simply write one if condition that is if uh, not divisible by d1 should be greater than this count one greater than equal to and then Similarly, not divisible by D2 should be greater than C2 and then not divisible by both this uh, this uh, variable should be greater than equal to C1 plus C2. If this is true, then we would return true. Else in the else we would return false here. So I hope you got uh, the logic here. What uh, how we would write the satisfy uh, function and how uh, why we would do binary search here. So now let's move on to the coding part. Let me reset my ID and start again. So let us first take, uh, uh, let me first uh, define LL as long long. We would use LL multiple times here. Uh, let me make it short divisor 1, divisor 2, C1 and C2. So it would be easy to compute or easy to write the code. Let me initialize answer variable as uh, int max low variable as 1 and high variable as also as int max. Now we would simply do a binary search from low to high. Uh, compute the mid. Mid would be uh, high minus low by 2 or this way also you can compute mid to overcome integer uh, overflow then we would check if uh, satisfy division 1 division 2 count 1 count 2 and mid means if it is possible to produce us two edits by taking the number from the range 1 to mid then we would uh, I would change my answer variable to the mid and uh, let me uh, change high to mid minus 1 and in the else case situation I would just do mid plus 1 to equal to mid plus 1 so this is uh, the standard binary search and in then I would return an answer so now let me write one uh, boolean satisfy function both satisfy if that satisfies this condition like let me take long d1 d2 C1, C2, and mid. Let me first take uh, uh, divisible by D1. So all the numbers that are divisible by D1 are would be mid divided by D1, and all the numbers that are divisible by D2 are mid divided by D2. Further, I will take not. Uh, divisible by d1 that are mid minus divisible by uh, d1 so this many numbers we can take in array 1 and similarly not divisible by d2 so these many numbers we can take in array 2 okay and further uh, we need to find all total number of total count of numbers which range 1 to mid that are no, not divisible by both that are not divisible by both uh, equals to mid minus divisible by both so that would be lcm of d1 comma d2 so uh, we are using this inbuilt lcm function here and if uh, uh, not divisible by d1 is greater than count 1 greater than or equal to and not divisible by 
d2 is greater than or equal to count to n is not uh, divisible by both a is greater than or equal to count 1 plus count 2 then we would simply return true and in this condition we would return false now let me try to run this code okay seeing some error let us see uh, okay instead of 2 here it would be d2 so let me now try to run this again okay now let me try to submit this so oh yeah it's pass all the test cases uh, and yeah, you can see here it is 100% but not to go to that whatever so uh, here yes we define binary search we use binary search concept and we define the satisfy function to uh, know that if it is possible to make this two errors start uh, by taking the numbers from one to mid okay from this one to this mid and if it is possible then we simply read and true so i hope you understood the question and the concept behind this thank you so that's all for this video i hope you guys like the video and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you